And how could you not know Frank Vincent from so many phenomenal movies, of course, Goodfellas, and now Remedy? Why did you take this role? Well, uh, John Dosha called me and Christian called me. They said that you could have $25,000. And I said, I'll take it. No, 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 that's not true. We t I took it because it's, it's a little bit offbeat for me. And I, and I thought the script was very well written. And I had a good time doing it. He said it's offbeat. Of course, a lot of roles were familiar seeing you in. Kind of the, the bad guy, the guy on the other side of the tracks. But this is a straight-up character. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Uncle, um, what's his name? Uncle, Uncle Charles? Charles, yes. He's a bit of an eccentric guy. And uh, he's, the, he's the, the uncle of the lead character. And he's just a, a different kind of a guy. And it was fun playing that kind of a character. Now, of course, this has the, the whole New York, New Jersey theme. And speaking of New Jersey, we've got another big role coming up. We're counting down to your appearance on The Sopranos. Twelve episodes you're doing of this, this season. So we know nobody's going to leak anything. But tell us about your character. Is it a good guy, bad guy? Where are you coming from here? Uh, he plays a character called Phil. I play a character called Phil Leotardo, <clears throat> who just comes out of jail after 25 years. He's an old friend of Tony Soprano's, but he's really uh, Johnny Sachs' right-hand man. So he's not really Soprano. He's on the other side. And he wrecks havoc this season. It seems like we have to look forward to all the guys coming out of college this year. A couple of new characters. Yeah, Steve Buscemi, um, Robert Loggia, myself, and uh, another character actor, Joe. I forgot his last name. But there's four of us that come out of jail, and we're incorporated within, within this, uh, this uh, season. When you're preparing for roles like Sopranos or Remedy, you know, what, what type of, how do you change your characters? Can you, again, regionally, same region, New York, New Jersey. Uh, same, you know, not all the same type of theme, not the same type of premise, but same type of group of guys. I mean, how do you change your characters from role to role? But essentially, essentially the character is changed in the writing. The writing is what determines the, the, uh, the breadth of the character, the width of the character, how smart he is, how not smart he is. So, I mean, the soprano writing is really like superior writing. And uh, you, you, don't, you don't even cross a T or a dot an I. It's, it's all there. You don't have to do anything but just do the stuff that's written because they're all award-winning uh, award uh, writers and uh, you just develop the character. The arc is great. It's just a great, great character to do. And whether he's, um, whether he's a lawyer, whether he's a doctor, whether he's a bad guy, I mean, there's bad guys in every walk of life. And I happen to be fortunate to play them. <laughs> Those roles are there for you. You cross the board in this movie industry, taking on so many different roles, you know, producer, writer, music, of course, actor. What do you like most about it? Why, why have you stayed in it so many years? Uh, probably because I don't have to do anything else. That's the main thing. I never, I never had a job in my life. Since I'm 18 years old, I uh, played music for like 25 years. I was a recording player, and I, and I did comedy on nightclubs and did my first film in 1975, and it's been a, a lifelong dream that came true. So what else? Any other projects you're working on now? I'm going to Sarasota next week, two weeks, for a film called this thing uh, called um, Tale of Two Pizzas that Vinnie Pastore and I um, appear in. It's really a, a little love story comedy. And I'm going to Florida in about two or three weeks also to do a film called All for Nothing, and uh, waiting for Sopranos to come out. We're looking forward to it. And the premiere date is March 9th? March 7th. March 7th. All right. Well, we'll be waiting. And, of course, we're waiting for your role in Remedy. Can't wait till that comes out as well. Can't wait for Remedy. Best of luck with everything. Thank you, honey. Most success. Nutley. Nutley. Nutley, New Jersey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.